Hi, welcome to Low Vision Living 2070. Um, I'm Kathy, and so I know in some of my previous videos, I've shown you the differences between my two pairs of glasses and that kind of thing. And um, so these are my reading glasses. I look through the little telescopes down at the bottom where the bifocals are so I can read. And then these are my distance glasses. I look through the telescopes at the top so I can see things far away. Obviously, I can't wear them at the same time. So a couple days ago, I had this thing happen and it was really kind of scary for me because these glasses are not cheap. We, they are insured so that if I break them or lose them or they're stolen, somebody takes my purse or something like that, I can get them replaced. Um, but still, I'm very, very protective of them. And I was putting on a hoodie the other day and somehow or another, when I had hold of these glasses, um, the hood on them flipped them out of my hands and they went flying behind me. And I said a few words that I probably shouldn't have said, and I'm sure you know what those are. And it even upset my dog because she was like, oh, wow, she doesn't usually talk like that or in that tone. So I just stood completely still and I'm like, okay. I told my husband, I said, you are gonna have to come and find my glasses because I have no idea where they are. And I didn't wanna inadvertently turn around and step on them or something like that. It was bad enough that they hit the floor and slid across the, the room. Um, so he did find them. Luckily, um, I put them on. They seemed to fit pretty well. Um, and I could, you know, still see through them and that kind of thing. I did, um, a few hours later, look at them a little bit more closely. And one of the earpieces had been bent a little bit. So I just straightened it out and they, that did make them fit a little better. Um, but, uh, yeah, I was a little bit upset with myself for doing that. So next time I, I'm doing anything like that. I'm just going to set my glasses down on a hard surface so I know exactly where they are so I don't lose them or break them. That would not be a good thing because I really don't want to be without them. Um, it took a month or so for them to be processed and I have a very difficult prescription. They actually had to do one of the lenses over again on these particular glasses and so I had to wait another week or so to get them. Um, so I really don't want to be without them now so I have to take a lot of a lot better care of them. So, um, the only other thing I was wondering is I had a, a kid uh, stop me on a couple days ago when we were at Costco. I had on my other uh, telescopes and I had on my low vision button, which always goes right here. And so he stopped me and asked me what low vision is. And so I was able to explain to him a little bit what it is, but after a little, you know, a telling him a few things, I, I kind of felt like, oh, well, I lost him, but that also might have been because he was working. So I'm just kind of trying to come up with an easy way to tell people what low vision is that would encompass um, a lot of information, but do it in a short period of time so that, that, you know, they get the information if they're asking, and if they have other questions, then they can ask them. So if you have any, any ideas for me, just leave them in the comments below, and I will check those out. So thanks. Have a great day.